So we have understood the first important property of assigning function to a variable, right? So we have seen that property. How do we assign a function to a variable clearly? Now let's understand about how we can write one function inside another function because that made functions as first class object because in Python everything is an object, right? So that is the reason because when you say an object, it can be any data whether you take operators or variables, any functions, right? So just make it if you are clear in understanding functions that clears a way when you go for object oriented programming concepts, okay? Now let's understand that property very clearly. So what do we do is we'll just open the same Python script file and we'll try to write the program there itself because it will be easier when we just uh, use that. So what do I do is I just keep everything comment and here I just remove these quotes and I'll just place it here because I just wanted you to understand the second property of assigning sorry understanding or we just define one function inside another function. It's not a nested list or anything. It's something like a nested function because you are defining one function inside another function. Defining function inside another function. You can use this property. You can create your own variable names and create your own function names. So I create my function name as display, right? I want to display some message for you guys, right? So I gave display of yes. And this is understanding second property. That is the description I give. Understanding second property. I just close this doc string. And what do I do? I just define one more function called as message. That's where you are declaring function inside another function. Where I don't pass any argument over here. I just leave as it is. Where I'll just make it simple. But never ever forget to give quotations and you can write here function inside another function. That's what we have declared over there. Now you return, what do you want to return here? You just wanted to return some message like how are you? I'm just asking you guys, I hope you're doing well, right? Yes, just be cautious about your health also. Now message is returning how are you that's very simple now i should return display function what is that display function is trying to return so i just give result is equal to what do i want to give i just wanted to give the message function here itself message of plus because what is message function returning how are you so it is a string so obviously you need to pass some value over there what is that? Just pass yes because already you gave the argument here. Then automatically you need to return result. Right? Result is value returning to the display function and message is already returning. How are you? That's it. Now you print this. What do you want it to do? When you call the display function here, you are going to see some different result. Now let me show you. So when you call display function, what happens when you give print of what do you need to call print of display of it is expecting some input where suppose if you give any other input like display of 2 I'll just make it simple when you just execute this clearly you'll get can only concatenate string not integer because message it is clearly giving you an hint message function is returning a string so never ever give an integer here what do you need to do you just need to make sure you give you just pass your name i'm just passing my name so just give execute this you can clearly see how are you socket because message is returning how are you and you have assigned message function to result so how are you plus yes your s argument here so what happens if someone gives any integer you can also typecast it you can just make sure you can convert into string type and you can just execute this right so here message is inside display function so automatically when you save and when you execute this it is clearly expecting how are you and socket and even when you just give it here also you see understanding second property if i gave guys see it's already printing the result so when you just press enter how are you guys automatically 
when you run the directory you see display function is only being printed because socket is inside display function it's a nested function right if you create any variable you can just see it but we are there are no variables here so message function why it, what happens if you remove the braces here you also check that property everything you just need to give it will clearly throw you an error because unsupported operand type plus for a function message is only a function name you cannot mal add a function with a string so call the function that is the reason parentheses play a very very key role so never ever neglect them they are very very important right so this is a second property how do we define a function inside another function so here you have given yes right so here if you give any other integer what happens let me discuss that case also suppose if i give display of 2 clearly it is throwing me an error right i don't want to get that error do you see clearly it throws me an error for the second cause right string not integer to string because we are giving 2 as an integer so here you just need to go for type casting that's it you get now how are you two because you have converted str of yes is two here so clearly you get the result correctly how are you plus two is because that is a string it only depends on user interest he can type cast it that's where you define a function instead of another function understanding the property how does message is being written to display function this is very very important and just make sure function definition function logic and function call this is very very important just follow the simple steps if you don't want to have this just make sure just remove this because if user can give any input i just give for type conversion it all depends on whatever the concepts we have learned till now you just try to include them and start writing your own programs that's where you start learning and always make mistakes i suggest you to do mistakes learn from the mistake so because debugging is the best way to learn programming